Now over to Lawrence tonight, KU Hoops welcoming in basketball season in a big way with their annual Late Night in the Fog at Allen Fieldhouse, as you can see it right over here behind me. Now KSNT News reporter Cassie Nichols is the lucky one tonight. She's been out there all evening, so Cassie has Late Night going. Mackenzie, thousands of Jayhawk fans are ready for basketball season to say the least. The energy in here was electric tonight as both the men's and women's teams were introduced, but this annual tradition is about more than just basketball. Jayhawk basketball season is back, but as any Kansas fan knows, they can't tip off the season without a warm welcome, meaning the 37th annual late night in the fog. The jump start of KU basketball season. I love the energy, it's so fun. And it's a little more special this season after the event was canceled last year because of the pandemic. And for an extra special late night, the host. Famous actor and Jayhawk alum Rob Riggle, of course, he's pumped to be back in his alma mater right where he started watching many basketball games as a fan. Both the men's and women's team got a spotlight introduction onto the court, got to show off their skills and had a lot of fun doing it. The players have dance skills, but it's even better alongside hip hop group Run DMC, part of the tradition where KU brings in a new music artist every year. KU students, fans and alumni all got to join in on the excitement, which is what makes Late Night in the Fog as a Jayhawk so special. Head coach Bill Self even calls this event the biggest basketball event in the Western Hemisphere. So I think as KU alums, we would both have to agree, Mackenzie. Live in Lawrence covering local news that matters. Cassie Nichols, KSNT News. Yeah, I'm really just, I'm more bummed that I miss Run DMC than the basketball. I mean, love the Jayhawks, but I love Run DMC even more. We'll